Hi everyone and uh, welcome to this um, Best Life Now with me, Espen, and our beautiful Best Life leader, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, everybody. So good to see you. So good and to hi, see you. everyone who is here now. Thanks. Uh, so we are going to expand out from the Abraham Now from today. It was just re it's really recently finished. It's, uh, it's been a one hour session now from uh, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. European time. I don't know about the time in US how it is. Well, so, in central time, it's from 1 to 2 p.m. <laughs> 1 to 2 p.m. That's yes. so cool. So, so good. So, Abraham, wow. As always, it's more expansion and more clarification. And today we had a lot of, she was a little bit more in the baby talk. <laughs> I feel like like uh, and that was a, such a nice thing because to talk about um, you know the babies are most in the allowing part and you're having this part of asking and you have this part of it is given and you should talk about in as we as humans as we growing we starting um, and as we are being more uh, older we start to asking more and more and more the babies is not so so um, knowing about that what it want or don't want so they are most in the allowing part and they're sleeping a lot so then it's like they just like very uh, steady they're very in the steady in the source energy so do you want to open that up jen because that was really really good i like the first part there when you talk about babies and oh, okay. uh, she talked about that is she and something i love she shared was like you should be 90 percent and 10 percent you should ask him 90 percent you should be in the allowing part and that was so like makes sense you know because like uh, we don't want to use all our life and time to just ask 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 and not enjoy this moment you know or like so we you know so yeah yeah well i love this because for anybody that knows me <laughs> you know how much i love babies and kids and this yeah. also <laughs> right this also correlates to pets right yeah. um, animals because it's Absolutely. very much the same um when a baby right young child but a baby especially um enters this physical universe they are feeling their connection to the non-physical very much so meaning they're predominantly connected animals are like this too they're predominantly feeling their connection so they are really in that 90 percent or more and um, I love that Abraham expanded out based upon the question yeah babies do sleep a lot because that helps them to reestablish um, that connection more and release resistance that they picked up as they are acclimating right getting used to this physical environment and the perspective that uh, we as ooh, you know, a grown humans maybe are uh, presenting to them. So, and we knew this before we came. We understood that, and we willingly came um, to immerse ourselves in this experience. And um, the uh, the knowing, though, uh, and I loved what you shared. Uh, it would be to our benefit if we were more in that space of being in the allowing receiving space more like a baby more like a pet or or um, the beasts they call them or the animals of the planet the birds um, and and a little less in the asking space um, so they said there's a lot there really is a lot anybody that's had the experience of being around a baby or a young child um, you know this very well um, they really allow us to feel our connection because they are so pure and um because just like when we come to feel our connection if something feels off ooh, you you've heard a baby before they cry right they'll let you know mm -mm. <laughs> because it feels so different to them right uh, not that old babies cry a lot but they will let you know right? Same thing um, with an animal. They'll let you know if you are really mm, uh, 
causing them to feel a bit disconnected. Um, and the beautiful thing about babies is, uh, and all of us, right, we're continually calibrating, 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 sifting mm. and sorting um, in that space one. of beautiful motion, motion forward. And I loved uh, the, the point um, that you brought up about the, you know, it would be to our benefit to be less in the asking space and more in the allowing space. Because, and we talked about this on um, a previous broadcast, we can only be in one frequency at a time, right? You can only be in one frequency at a time. So you can either be in the asking frequency or you can be um, something in a feel better frequency, like a feel good frequency, right? So you, can, you could be experiencing the contrast or you could be um, delighting in the journeying forward to that which you've asked for. So, and some people kind of try and hold themselves at a pretty uncomfortable space by trying to maintain focus upon the problem, thinking by holding focus on the problem, the solution will um, come to present itself. Well, they're right in one aspect. When you ask, the solution is given. But from our physical perspective, in order to receive the solution, we have to, in essence, change our frequency, uh, change the channel, so to speak, um, move into a better feeling space. So, and we're seeing a lot of that now, where people, um, because of kind of what's happening globally, encouraging things like social distancing or even wearing a mask, things that are creating a little more distance, right? We're, we're seeing that little bit of an opportunity for us to um, acclimate more to a solution instead of being very strongly in, influenced by the frequencies of fear or negative vibration or frustration, those, uh, those vibrations that are a little more prevalent or a lot more prevalent now. So that's you know, it's just something to consider, even though you may feel uh, however you feel about social distancing, you know, just know that um, as things are different, as things are coming into, we're all having this opportunity to feel our alignment more. It's okay to have a little more space to yourself. Just know that everything is a benefit if you allow it to be. It's always a choice. We don't have to push against anything. And the broader aspect of us is always in that allowing receiving space. Just like the babies, they're always in that allowing receiving space. As, and then they typically will acclimate more into a human, a little more questioning, contrasting space. Doesn't have to be like that, but it's oftentimes what happens. So I'll pause there. They are the best teachers, Jay They so, are, you know, and because they are most of the part in the allowing space. Mm -hmm. And isn't that so nice now when we know what we know about that? You know, kind of, and, and we already know it since the beginning because we all have been babies. <laughs> so, <laughs> so with now with this energy, you know, because there is a we learning as we growing uh, new things and, and allowing more. You know, asking to come to place as we are feel, having those contrasts. But really, now is for me and when I listening also I, to come back more into that first place. You know, we talk about it alignment. You know, you can you can ask for sure, but be in the allowing, be in the receiving more, be in the energy of the alignment with who you really are more and more, more than ever, because that's that's the energy that's 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 you came forth into this physical body with, and it's going to help you to create anything and everything you desire for. So like babies, they have no thought about it because they, you know, like consciously, you know, she talked about that, you know, wander or don't want, they just allow it. And then, you know, through the process of growing up, they, they have learning new words and then they start to stand for themselves in their own way. And then they, you know, figure out as they, growing up, the asking part and how things are working out in this society. But you know, like from the new, say from the new, not from the new, but from who we really are, 
um, it's good with all of those things and, and I, I love that you know that um, what is called a system but when I love new things and words of but really to not be attached by the outside of it no but feeling the alignment through it it's a different energy just like be in the allowing space of it it's like a it's something different because Abraham talked something a lot about that too in, in the recording or uh, in the Facebook in the Facebook in the Abraham live you know so she shares something about when about the asking and the question do you have some expansion of that it was a really good one mm. you remember that one well I can expand for sure in this way when we yeah. ask the thing that to understand about when we ask the moment we ask the solution is vibrationally given. Mm -hmm. So the easier we can make that process, the more succinctly we can acknowledge, ah, that bit of contrast, that whatever, that question, that problem, that situation, acknowledge it, and then shift to being more solution-minded, solution-oriented, mm -hmm. knowing that the solution is vibrationally given and knowing the joy in the journey of the unfoldment of it. Um, the, the more easily we can do that process, the more uh, delightful our life experience will be, right? So it's, it's knowing, right, that when something presents itself in a contrastual way, something, a problem, not to push against it, not to rally against it, instead acknowledge it and mm. then um, easily shift that focus. Um, because anytime we push against something, we resist something, we dig into something, that problem will grow. And here's the wonderful thing about our life experience. Um, if we kind of ignore something that's a problem or we just, something is kind of irking us, we're sort of tolerating it, it's kind of crawling under our skin, but we're just like, oh, it's just the way it is, you know, whatever. Yeah, just not really acknowledging it, it'll get bigger. It'll get bigger because there is, you have attention upon it. You're kind of mm, pushing it, you're letting it fester. It's kind of like a, a bit of sand, right, that's inside, underneath an oyster. It's festering under there. Now, this that, in essence, births a, a beautiful pearl over time. But it will get bigger, right? The law of attraction has hold of your active vibrations. So we can really benefit ourselves when we are a little more in that feeling space. So we're a little more sensitive to what we're feeling and we come into a space of understanding it's good to feel good right mm -hmm. it's good to be comfortable uh, situations that present themselves with contrast or questions are not something to push against or feel bad about they're actually opportunities for us to choose opportunities for us to create something new right even with the situation that's happened happening globally here think about all of the solutions that are being created many different ways to go about um, business many different um, components um, probably you know being activated in many people's family lives uh, many different things being understood environmentally many 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 different things and um, for those that are more solution focused, meaning they're going in the direction of that feel good space, those solutions will present themselves and they will be thriving right now. They'll be feeling good. They'll be feeling exhilarated. But for those that want to dig into the problem, this isn't fair. We have to social distance. I don't want to wear a mask. When are my kids going to go back to school? I don't like this thing. I don't, I don't, what? I'm not working now. If you're pushing against it, it feels worse right now. So the idea is to instead acknowledge. Say you're out of work right now. Acknowledge. Okay, I'm out of work right now. This isn't my preference. It's not what I prefer. 
but I know that what I do prefer is creative. I know that my asking in this moment is given. And I know generally, I kind of have enjoyed a little bit of a break. I kind of have enjoyed, you know, not having to maybe get up to my alarm the same way I, I was previously. I kind of have enjoyed this little bit of a respite, right? Start generally seeing that. And I know solutions are in place. You know, if you're in the U.S., there's lots of solutions in place. I'm sure there is in where whatever country you're in, wherever you're located. There's lots of things coming into being. There's lots of beautiful things happening. And, you know, this is actually that opportunity for me to chill out. To, you know, I was kind of wanting to do a few things around the house. I was kind of wanting to etc 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 allow yourself to enjoy this different situation instead of pushing against it this isn't fair i don't like this this isn't right i want to gather together with other people who don't think it's right right you can see the difference so even though part of you might be going but this is different and it's not my preference Give up that a bit, right? Give up or stop pushing against it. Instead, start to see the things that are right in it. You don't have to see them all. And there's not any benefit to pushing yourself in that direction either. Just mm -hmm. generally see the things that are presenting themselves as improvements. And there are some. There are many. And then allow the law of attraction to do what the law of attraction does better than anything. And it is its job to create momentum in that positive flowing direction. I love that, that And so, when, so right? And when bits of resistant thoughts come back, because they might, just acknowledge them again. And then just, again, generalize out with some of the things that are good, right? Some of the things that are, oh, they're, they're better or they're okay right now, right? Just flow. Every time it comes back, just acknowledge and say, no, nope, I'm just going to deliberately flow in this better direction. You will find it gets easier each time. You will, you will feel your sense of freedom flowing in. You'll feel new ideas flowing in. You'll feel, in essence, your path being illuminated for you by the broader aspect of you. So, yes, expansions on that, Espen? Steadily in the alignment. That's what I feel. Love steadily because it's a practice. It's not like a, like a one time thing it's just a practice for our life as long as we're here and without energy supporting and uplifting us it's much it makes things much easier so to take the time to practice it it's it's valuable mm -hmm. it's valuable to to practice the vibration of who you really are because that energy always supporting and uplifting you and giving you the best to you and through you it's it's uplifting and we give you all the things that it's she talked about um it's all in the vortex there you know it's all help is in there and if there's something you're wondering about and when you come to the alignment with who you are it will be presented to you you will be having the experience of those things you've been asking for because also like you say when you're having a question and asking and you know, have been asking for 10 years ago and the answer is in the source of it so when you are in alignment with the source the answer comes to you from whatever question you've been having, you know, those things, if you're not coming now, it may be, but immediately when we feel the alignment, the answer is, it's, it's, it's very clear from the, from what we want and, and desire. And I love, you know, she shares something about that. I love it. She says, freedom is the freedom from resi resistance that I can control. And it's like, you know, meditating, we talk about it a lot. And meditation is so powerful. What is the power of meditation? And what is the, value in the meditation it's that you quiet your mind and you lessen the resistance and more you are feeling the alignment and quiet in your mind and, and having less resistance to what is then the energy works for you you know it's the energy comes to you through you it's no resistance to it. it's allowing you like a kid like a child it's allowing you to feel good and better and better and also now as we are human you know growing up and we know about these differences and we have 
contrast and we know about those things more and more and asking but now letting ourselves to ask but letting ourselves to be more in the allowing you know to to be in the moment and in this now like, like feeling like here or right now mm-hmm. it's not like because everything takes place from this moment this newness now everything always takes place from this what's happening right here right now when i'm speaking those words and now the next and now the next so it's 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 all unfolding from what you experience right now, how your future is going to be, and as you allow and deliberate more, deliberate be in this uh, deliberate and segment and turning and deliberate more into the alignment with who you are and, and focus in there and feel it more and more. Easier and easier it gets, and better and better it feels, and better it feels, better it gets, and you know that's the momentum, you know, and, and it's like and you don't do anything about it. That's it's great for you. Because you're letting it happen, you you allowing it to have happen. You letting it happen. You are uh, feeling the joyous life you become. You know that you become here for for feel and be, and to enjoy all of these things that you do and have. You know, and and you, it's it's a beautiful co-creation with yourself and with everyone, and and. When you then you you just like when when you have no resistance to what is you don't look at in this alignment you don't look at things that doesn't feel good you don't look at those things situation happening around the world that doesn't feel good you look for the positive aspects in those things naturally that's alignment is doing it it's natural looking for the best in everything and more and it's like and that is like you know I was just to think about that that we you know. I remember Abraham. Think of we should talk about it. Was it last time? Think about the whole world doing this, you know, allowing themselves just to to have no resistance to what is and just becoming who they are. How the world would look like. Well, I love that you brought up the whole world. Mm, I love this and know this. And I'm going to just preface this for this first. Right, because this may be a vibration that you are feeling in some way, or um, the world is not broken. The world is nope. not a bad place. There is nothing here to be fixed. All asking has been answered. So, and will continue to be answered, right? Because it's an ongoing, 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 right? The, the asking isn't done, nor is the answering done. But all that has been asked has been answered, right? continuously so consider this there has been a very large asking throughout this universe throughout this planet for unconditional love unconditional alignment unconditional well-being unconditional joy and we have the opportunity right now to feel and flow in that direction more than we ever had be- have before. And it's coming in a very global way. Right now, we each have the opportunity to align with the direction of well being, the direction of joy, the direction of the solution, the direction that feels better or not. We have the opportunity to do it in a way where we're attaching ourselves to conditions. I'll feel better when I get back to work. I'll feel better when things are back to what will never be as it was before, but when they're back to normal, right? You hear those kinds of things. That's conditional, right? Or they say, I found my feel good now. I feel my freedom. I can feel the solution. I see what's happening. I can feel how connected I am. I see how things are flowing into place. I feel so much of the asking that I've had individually being answered. And if I allow myself to enjoy it, more is coming through. If I rally against what's coming or complain it's not enough or it's not happening fast enough or I'm trying to get to the bottom of a problem, it seems like this is the worst of times. If I'm looking for some cause of whatever, right, it's gonna feel bad and it should. But if you choose to feel your alignment, 
to feel a part of this becoming, to feel a part of this planetary solution, you will feel just like that baby. And you will feel like just like that baby, baby acclimating to the newness that is unfolding right in front of us. Because there, there is or there will be no return back to what it was. It will be new. It always is new. But it will be so much even enhanced new. If you allow it to be. There are so many new ideas, so much answering, so many things bringing forth. Just like the, the example I've shared so many times with the planet, right? With Remember, it was like last year, lots of protesting against the condition of the environment, the pollution, the waters. They're in such a beautiful space right now, right? Because nobody is really pushing up against that so much. And, you know, and that's all it takes. The well-being is strong. The well-being of this planet, the well-being of who you are, the well-being of becoming, it's that vibration. And vibrating or aligning with anything that resists that is going to feel bad, right? You can, in essence, align with the well-being, flowing forward, still experience contrast here or there, but instead of feeling like you need to push against the contrast or something is against you, you'll feel inspiration. You'll feel new ideas. You'll see the kindness coming through in people. You will see your asking specifically being answered. You'll see the becoming. You will in essence be part of the solution. And it's so good. It's so good. What is happening now is so good if you allow it and it doesn't take that many people to deliberately feel and flow in their alignment to help inspire and uplift others but don't uplift others thinking they need uplifting just do it because it feels good they come from every one of us all of us can come from the same source of pure love and light, that same source of well-being, that same source of eternal becoming. And when you shine from that space, just like when you have the opportunity to be around a brand new baby or a child who's really tuned in or a very uplifting pet, you feel good and they will feel their connection too. And they can flow with it if they want to, or they can resist. Either way, it's good. It's very, very good. So good. It's the best time to be alive, everyone. Yes. Yeah, it is. It is. I, I agree. You know, I feel so easy, you know, every day now, I'm just like waking up full of appreciation, natural, just like no reason for why, but just feeling. And uh, starting the day with a good meal and and everything I drink and everything I taste and sense and smell, it feels so good. And I know that that is that unconditional love that's created for me, you know, that I, that I feel it more inside. You know, and I, I enjoy things more now than ever. Yeah. And before, so. And I think, you know, we're all in this together and we, we make our choices. We have our freedom to choose. We have our freedom to focus. So it's, and it's neither good or bad because it is not about others. It's about ourselves. It's individuals. It's me, it's you, Jam, it's they, it's all ourselves because when we talk about world, it's my world. It's Jam's world, it's Dave's world because everyone has their own world as well, how we are looking at it, how we are observing it, how we are look at it, how we are feeling the difference in it, no, how we see it, feeling it, so it's a difference, we have different experiences. So it's our world, it's, it's, it's mine world, it's your world, but together, we are all in this together, there, and it's a wonderful world out there. So, 
I love it. Um, said it perfectly. Uh, We're all in this together. And, right. uh, I'm just like, just like, okay, easy, aligning off with who I am, and then off we go. That's it. The multicom. It is like, and now also, I love this with the practicing to the moment, practicing to feeling your alignment, and more we practice and study there, right? study the alignment, and the feeling, and more and more. You, the yeah. experience will, will, it's so much different from our, because it feels me such more light, so much easier. Things come to you, you know, and it's like, you know, if you easy about what you're doing, you feel easy about what you're having. If you, if you, you feel easy conversation with people, I just feel like it's just, it's just more easy. Everything just like it's more easy, and uh, yeah, it's work better. The energy, this non-specific energy, the pure loss of energy, so much more work, much better when we steady the, we're steady in the alignment, we're steady in the energy of it. And then do that, whatever we choose in the moment, right now, and forward, in the newness and refreshment. Yeah. Let it be easy. Let it feel good. Let it be fun. You're doing amazing. Everything is in front of you. Right. If you're feeling good now, shine from that space of alignment. And if you're feeling a little off, just acknowledge that and flow in the direction of something that feels better. Absolutely. It's so good. It's so worth it. It's a, it is. And you can catch it early, those things, because you don't have to resist what you resist. Just like, oh, there is something there. It's so good because you don't have to analyze it. You don't have to go figure out this is happening. Then you, you acknowledge it right now, in this moment. Then just, like, oh. And then immediately when you you're in, you know that you're observing it right in this moment here and you're feeling the newness of here. It's moving forward with it and the solution comes to your way because when there's no resistance to what is and when there is resistance coming and you acknowledge it, then it can come through the energy of it. It's not holding you back in anything because never a source energy never holds you back. It's always allowing you to become more and more and more and more. So when you are most um, easy about yourself and easy with others and easy with everything, the easy it will be more and more. And that's pure resource energy. It's very easy. Very easy, gentle energy coming through you and to you and through you always now and forever and evermore. So well said. Yes. Yeah. Be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be easy about it. Don't try too hard. Be easy about it more to come.